What were ninjas actually like, part 1? In the ancient realm of feudal Japan, there existed a remarkable group of warriors known as ninjas, hailing from clans like Ige and Koga. Contrary to popular belief, ninjas didn't always dress in black. Instead, they disguised themselves as everyday people, blend into society. They could assume the guise of farmers, merchants, or even samurai, allowing them to move freely and covertly. They were parkour masters, able to navigate treacherous landscapes and scale castle walls effortlessly, employing specialized tools like grappling hooks and clever gadgets such as smoke bombs and throwing stars. Similar to samurai, loyalty to their employers was a must. However, unlike the former's emphasis on open combat and honor, ninjas avoided confrontation whenever possible. They believed in exploiting weaknesses, surprise attacks and doing everything necessary to gain an advantage over their adversaries. Ninjas played the key role during the Sengoku period, providing measurable support to their lords. The best example is Atoryanzo, widely renowned as the greatest ninja to ever live, played a crucial role in the rise of Tokugawa Ieyasu and the establishment of the Tokugawa Shogunate.